Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today we're looking at a brand new just launched tool in beta called Construct Animate. Now that Construct name gives everything you need to know away. This is an animation tool built on top of the Construct 3 game engine. Construct 3, I've covered it a few times in the past on the channel. It's one of those uh, game engines that makes games kind of accessible for people to work with. It does run in the browser, just so one of those things to be aware of. Uh, you can extend your games in JavaScript, but otherwise you, you can write them entirely with this visual uh, spreadsheet kind of approach to, to game development. It is we're easy to work with. There is a nice amount of tools built in there, full level editing tools, um, sprite editing and all that kind of stuff. And what they did is they took all of this base functionality and they spun it off into a product called Construct Animate. This is launching literally today, so expect some bugs and glitches uh, in beta. Also, if you want to export out in video format, you're going to want to use either Edge or Chrome. I'm demoing it today in Safari, but the video export is not available. And that's ultimately what this is all about. It's for making animation. So you can export out as video or as uh, web files or as ads. So if you want to make clickable ads, you know, a little bit more dynamic for your website, uh, you can do that using this. You can make basically kind of like flash applet equivalents and you can make video. So if you're using this to um, create a cutscene for your game, you can use this with another game engine, export it out, play it as video. So what we're going to do is take a look at the beta itself. It is available at animate.construct.net forward slash beta. It runs entirely in your browser. Now I'm running this entirely in the free edition as guest. This should be free at this point in time, but you do get some of these weird, annoying messages about uh, kind of limitations that are available from Construct Free. Hopefully that gets removed in time. We're going to encounter them a couple times probably in this demo. I go down here to some of the examples. We're going to start things off with this animated title scene. Um, so open that one up and we will just immediately do a preview of it. So here this will open it up in a new tab. You can see the kind of animations you can create. There's a screen shake going on there, and then some things rise from the ground, the, the, the screen drops down, and so on. So if you wanted to make this kind of thing, as a, you can export this out as a video, or as like a little web app or whatever, but this is the kind of thing that you can do with it. Let me just go ahead, we'll close that tab down. So here we are now in the, um, the editing environment. There's a couple things to be aware of here. You've got your normal timeline down here. All the various different uh, properties in our world uh, can be controlled over here over time. Uh, you can bring new entities into the world, literally just drag and drop your graphics in to start composing your scene. Uh, some interesting things to be aware of is, for example, here, event sheet. This is completely optional, but if you want, so for example, that screen shake we saw is being controlled by this screen shake functionality. Um, that we can control our animations using the programming functionalities available in normal construct. So you can do some pretty cool things. So here's an example of one of those messages. Hopefully they get rid of that crap. Um, another thing you're going to notice over here, you've got your um, basically uh, assets for your scene, the, thing, the, the things that make up your various different elements in your scene. I do believe we can also drag and drop from here to here. So if we want to create multiple instances, we can, like so. Again, everything is... Uh, very visually editable like that. Um, we can also then, with those guys in place, we can add, uh, so we could do logic and scripting on anything we put into the scene. We've also got a plethora of special effects we could do. So for this guy, for example, I could come in here, we'll add a new effect to that guy I just dropped in. Uh, we could make it, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll show it bulging. All right, so we'll bulge that guy out, we'll add that in. So now see how it's, it's much bigger and we can control that over time. So we could make that 75%. Okay, I don't know if it actually changed. I, I wasn't actually paying attention. Uh, but the other cool thing here is, so now that that guy is in place, uh, we could actually add it to the timeline down here. And in the timeline, we can uh, go ahead, we can right click, we can add a property in. And what you're gonna see is those bulge effects that we added in, we can go ahead and we can keyframe the bulge. So any of those special effects can actually be animated over time. There's actually a lot of functionality already in this tool for doing um, 2D video um, and you know playable applets, etc. When you're done, when you like your work, come up here, project, export, and then in terms of exports, again, you can export out as an HTML5 application or as a playable ad or as a video format file. Again, this only works on Chrome and Edge for some reason, which I'm not 100% certain of. Go back here to the examples. There are a couple of other really neat capabilities built into this guy. This is, for example, one of them. I'll just show you the, the end result. It is particle systems. So there's actually particle systems that are built directly in. You can use those uh, inside of this, no problem. Again, all of the particle system stuff can be scripted using timeline. Here is an animated splash screen, very simple example. We'll go ahead and open that guy up. So let's open that up. 
We will close our previous project. We will not save anything. So here you can see it. Again, your canvas, this little area is your editable canvas area that is set by this property over here. One of the nice things with this is it's high DPI and resolution independent. So it just takes care of that stuff for you. Uh, so we got a bunch of things that are off scene and they're all being controlled uh, by various different mechanisms. So, so we've got a lot of spline controls and such over them. So let's see, there we go. So all those things come together like this in our scene. Uh, it, it's, again, you just basically set a keyframe, move something to a different point, set another keyframe, and that is how you'd animate things. We've also got the ability to do our special effects at a more global level. So for example, with the top level canvas selected, I could go here and add a special effect. And let's go in and add some scan lines. If we wanna get that retro look going on, so scan lines, there you go. So immediately you see a scan line effect like that. And let's go full ugly and let's add CGA mode. So we're going back in time. There we go. So we've got a very ugly scene with scan lines and CGA. And here is your end result. Uh, so there is a lot of capability built into this guy very early on. They basically, again, they've taken um, the Construct 3 game engine and repurposed it towards creating 2D movies. It's kind of a clever move in my opinion. I wonder how this will ultimately turn into a product. Uh, we're back at the announcement now on it. Uh, I've showcased a lot of the features already here. Again, timeline animations, it uses their visual programming system. You can export out to video. You can create playable ads like banner ads or interactive media. Uh, supports high DPI, high refresh rate, automatic uh, display scaling for any resolutions. Oh, one thing I did not showcase, let me go back and show that actually, because this is actually kind of cool. All right, you go away. Uh, if I go back to, let's go back to the example browser. Uh, all right, so let's close you. We'll go back to this guy right here. We'll open that one up. Uh, close previous, don't save. All right, so here we are in this edit. This thing right here, this is actually an image. So what you can do is actually double click select it and you have a full animation. So here we've got the various different frames that go together to create that guy you have a frame by frame uh, animation and image editors. We've got full painting tools here. So if we wanna add in or paint or whatever, it's all built in here as well. So you've got full media tools in this tool, which is actually pretty nice. So you don't need to have an external editor if you wanna make small tweaks or changes, or you can work entirely in here if you don't wanna use an external art program. Uh, 80 effects built in there, live preview, video playback, um, various different other things. You got mesh distortion capabilities, multi-monitor support, and so on. It is in public beta. So we're launching Construct Anime as public beta. This means it isn't quite ready. There are a fair bit to do, including work on branding, feature development, bug fixes, listen to your feedback. Inviting the wider world to get involved, try it out. Let us know what you think. What I think, by the way, immediately skewer up is you need to remove the trial errors. They're very annoying. Just get rid of all that stuff. Uh, please note, this means it's not necessarily representative of the final product. At the end of the public beta, uh, it will be sold as a separate product. It provides a lower cost way to get started with Construct. So this is cheaper than Construct. So if you do, if you wanted to use Construct to make this kind of stuff, I guess technically you could, although Construct doesn't have an expert to video option, uh, but you could use it to make the web stuff. This is going to ultimately be a cheaper product and it's Going to have that export to video. Um, they're based on the same style editor, should be easy to switch between them. Uh, duration of the public beta, well, we're allowing people with existing Construct subscriptions to also use the full features of Construct Anime. Okay, so they're limiting the full features to the, oh, that sucks. I would say open the beta up to everyone, to be honest. If you want to extend your, uh, your reach out, uh, this is where I would recommend you change. Uh, however, we'll stop working at the end of the public beta to make sure it's clear you'll prompt every time you log in using an existing Construct 3 subscription reminding you that it will no longer work with Construct Animate at the end of the public beta. Um, and they say, oh, and we're also gonna keep making games. So they're branching out into new products. This is kind of a lightweight animation tool. Even if you're not interested in game development, it is a simple way to make simple animations. Like this kind of thing, you could throw together in literally minutes. And there was no coding required on this one. So the, the event sheet type functionality that we saw in the other example, uh, this, let me get out of the image editor here, uh, this part, this functionality, this was not required at all. So if we go back to the example browser for uh, the other example here, the simple splash screen one, we'll open it up. You're gonna notice, close, don't save. We're doing that a lot, eh? Uh, it's It's got event sheet one. Event sheet one is pretty much empty. Oh, so there is a, a collision in place. That's about the extent of it. So you don't need to have event sheets. You don't need to get into programming at all. You can literally, again, just drag something into the scene, drop it down. Again, drag and drop file support for bringing and importing assets in. If you want to animate something over time, you just drop it on the timeline. The timeline will show up for that object. Uh, so in this case, this guy, so you see the X, Y, and angle, etc., are all being controlled at various different keyframes. So we can move to a point in time. We can add a new keyframe in, and you basically just kind of 
move things around. And so now we could keyframe scale. By the way, in order to just keyframe scale though, you are going to have to add it as a new property. Uh, so we can come in here and, and add in Y scale, X scale, and then they will now uh, be available. And again, uh, if you do add special effects to something or behaviors, etc. So if I add a special effect onto something uh, that we saw earlier on, so let's go ahead and add, um, I don't know, a stretch special effect to this guy. That then is also now available as a key frameable property. <laughs> and then in that case, it doesn't show it. I don't know, are there two octopus detectives or did I screw something up? Anyways, beta, that stuff is bound to happen. Uh, so that there, ladies and gentlemen, is Construct Animate, uh, an interesting new animation editor built on top of the Construct 3 game engine. I do ask that question to you as well. Are, are you interested in seeing some more in-depth coverage of Construct 3? Have you used Construct 3? What do you think of it? And if you haven't, and you're looking for an image editor, or sorry, an animation editor, what do you think of Construct Animate from what you saw today? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.